The sun will not form a black hole. When it runs out of nuclear fuel, it will collapse, and there's something that can stop it collapsing. So it's called a white dwarf star. It's a beautiful calculation, by the way, that. Something called the Pauli exclusion principle. So electrons don't want to be close together, roughly speaking. So as you squash the thing, the electrons get closer together, and so they separate away from each other and go into smaller and smaller little regions of space because they're trying to stay away from each other. But there's also something called the uncertainty principle. So as you confine them into smaller regions, you start jiggling around faster and faster and ultimately you can reach a limit where they're essentially trying to jiggle at the speed of light and they can't so there's a limit to how much pressure that process can exert and it turns out it's 1.4 times the mass of the sun you could have worked that out not knowing that stars exist what is the biggest lump of stuff that can be held up by this jiggling of electrons it turns out it's 1.4 times the mass of the sun then you look into the sky and there's none more massive than 1.4 times the mass